Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 22nd and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see our upper level low looks quite interesting here on the mid-level water vapor loop and you can see all the lightning strikes associated with it coming across some Kern, Tulare, Kings County and up for some of the central coast here as well. So you have the San Joaquin Valley getting some thunderstorm activity. This is moving across San Bernardino County is now pushing into portions of Nevada towards Las Vegas as well. So yeah, interesting weather with this. Not a lot of precipitation associated. The main threat with this is lightning activity. The bulk of the precipitation will be across some of the higher train of the Sierra Nevada. And then we've got an atmosphere river that'll be pushing down across pacific northwest into portions of california as we go on in through this upcoming later portion of this week and on in through this weekend so we had a life claim there across the Oregon coastline from sneaker wave activity. So when you see these warnings going up, please you know pay attention. Children and pets in the surf zone, sometimes people go in to get them when they get swept away and they end up getting claimed by the ocean itself. Pacific Ocean is a big place out there. You know, don't be fooled by, uh, fooled by calm conditions. Uh, 30 minutes right before big sneaker wave strikes can happen. So pay attention, please, if you're out there. And of course, Hanford National Weather Service is calling attention to the thunderstorm activity we see it it's ongoing right now so if you want to be totally safe there wait 30 minutes until you last hear thunder to resume outdoor activities and now looking at reno nevada national weather service doing a good job here this does cover portions of california you can see different potential tracks with some of these storms here as we go through this weekend and in through early next week of course the further south the wetter and more impactful for the state of california so here we are this morning upper level low moving across the area and you can see the Gulf of Alaska trough really gets ramped up here. Deep low into the Pacific Northwest is going to push an atmospheric river down into portions of California as we go on in through the day Saturday. There's additional storm development possible as we go through the day Sunday and on in through early next week with some of that activity pushing back into California. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you some more on here on that here in a moment. And we'll take a look at the European actually starting right now. There's that upper level low pushing across the region. If you look close, you can kind of see some snow for the higher terrain there, mainly a above 8,000 feet, but then the atmospheric river arrives. That's on the day Friday, Friday afternoon right there, and some pretty hefty amounts across Northwest California, two, three, four inches, not out of the question. It loses some of its punch that moves towards the Bay Area, but it looks like the Bay Area and some of Sacramento Valley are going to get precipitation as well, some of the uh, Northern Sierra Nevada, and some snow for the highest peaks. And then you can see this next storm system out here. It's kind of been weakening and strengthening some of the model runs here, but that could bring some blustery conditions as we go through Sunday as well and additional rounds of precipitation associated with that storm and maybe even a little bit more snow for the higher terrain and then looks like the next one's kind of dying out as another deep low starts to form out here over the Pacific Ocean, probably headed somewhere towards the Pacific Northwest. Now, total precipitation in inches. If I scroll through here, again, kind of the Sierra Nevada getting the bulk of this, maybe a tenth of an inch or two across some of the San Joaquin Valley here out across portions of Las Vegas. So not a big precipitation maker, but the lightning is the main story with our upper level low. And you can see as we go through the later morning hours, kind of pivoting up across, you know, some of the northern Sacramento, uh, southern Sacramento Valley, northern San Joaquin Valley across the Sierra Nevada as we go through the day today. And that continues through this afternoon tonight. And then that pushes off as we go through Thursday. Now, looking at that probability of snowfall above an, uh, above an inch or equal to or greater than one inch. And again, mainly above 8,000 feet. Just did want to call some attention to that as you can kind of see that piling up as we go through the day today, maybe a couple inches there. Now, 100 meter wind speed. So you can see we got Washington, Oregon, California here. So if we put this into motion, you'll see the atmospheric river forming right there as we go through late tonight into the day on Thursday, impacting Western British Columbia. The slides down towards the Washington coastline. You can clearly see the atmospheric river pushing towards the Oregon coastline. This is on the day Friday, and then it starts to bring some southerlies here to northwest portions in Crescent City. Watch out for some of these gusty winds as you go through the day on Friday. And some of that may reach down towards the Bay Area. Not exceptionally strong, but you do turn the wind around southerly up the Sacramento Valley, a bit blustery. Also, as a deep low moving into the Pacific Northwest. And again, that could be impacting northern zones of the California coastline. And then this next system here, a bit of a question mark. It was showing up a little bit stronger yesterday, but then it took it away. And then it was bringing it back a little bit. And that could bring some locally windy conditions. This would be on Sunday morning on in through the day on Sunday. Additional rounds of precipitation with that one possible as well. Now, if we look at the GFS, kind of wider, ver wider look at things here. Hawaiian Islands bottom up. There's the state of California kind to the uh, right of that image 
And if we put this into motion, there goes our upper level low. We get a day or two off, and then the atmospheric river arrives as we go through Friday night, pushing down towards the Bay Area. And then we get this next storm system out here, and we're watching that one to see just how impactful that storm is going to be. Because it wouldn't take much uh, deepening. That deepens a little bit more. You're going to bring some stronger winds, and it's going to be more of an impactful storm. And then you can see another deep low ramping up as we go on in through next week as well. That could be impacting portions of Northern California as well. Again, depending on the track of that storm, six to 10 day, you can kind of see that above normal there for much of the state of California it goes through Halloween and Again, favored northern zones here as we go on in towards Halloween, the end of October coming up. Uh, check out the Patreon page if you like. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.